Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. <clears throat> the website's composed of eight self study lessons. The second lesson is how to improve your communication effectiveness with anybody. I want to offer you a tip that I've learned across the 40 years that I've been studying this subject as a student, a researcher, and a professional therapist. The tip has to do with something that I call an R message. R stands for respect. I propose that one reason, one of five reasons that we all communicate, all humans, um, is seeking to gain and maintain the prize of respect, feeling valued, worthy, and appreciated, or perhaps loved. We all need respect from ourselves and from our partners. Because of that constant need when we're in communication with another person, we are unconsciously decoding a message from them. The message is composed of uh, voice tone, words, facial expression, body language. Put all those together, visually, visually and audibly, and we conclude one of four things. There are four possible R messages. One is, you, my partner, believe you are one up to me. Your needs are more important to you than mine. Your dignity is more valuable to you than mine. You're one up. When you receive a message like that, how do you feel? I feel put down, irritated, hurt, resentful, maybe guilty, maybe intimidated, depends on the person and the situation. Incoming one-up R messages are painful and disrupt communication effectiveness. The second type of R message is just as disruptive, but it's the reverse. It can be labeled a one-down R message. That occurs when we observe a partner who seems timid, low self-esteem, won't look, meet our eyes, uh, voice tone is soft, is not assertive, not aggressive. Uh, they give us the message that they believe their worth, their dignity, and their needs are less important than ours in this current situation or maybe a whole relationship. That's a one down our message. That causes a group of reactions that also interfere with communication effectiveness. Can you remember being with such a person recently? who didn't seem to feel very confident in themselves. One of the most devastating R messages of four that you can get is an extension of the first, which is, you don't even exist. This is the extreme case of a one up R message, which says, right now, I'm not even aware of you. I don't care about your dignity, your worth, or your needs. I'm oblivious to you. My awareness bubble is simply focused on me, wonderful me. So if you ever have gotten a you don't exist power message, you know how that feels. Well, these are three R messages that degrade interpersonal communications. What's the best message? As you might intuit, the best message to seek and strive for is, at this moment, and over this time that we're communicating, I, your partner, see you as a person of equal dignity and worth to me. You and I are equals. Your needs are just as important to me as my needs. Can you remember receiving that from a partner recently? You know how that feels. It's affirming strengthening and it encourages free and honest communication. A useful correlation to make is in case you receive a one up or one down R message or you send one of those to important people in your life. 
suspect that either you and or your partner are controlled by a false self. That's the subject of lesson one in this website. Find out if you're guided by a well-meaning false self or a wise true self and if your false self is in the lead, find out how to free your true self. That's lesson one. Lesson two is once your true self is free, how can you communicate effectively with the important people in your life? So this tip has uh, outlined for you a little known universal dynamic between you and every other person in your life that you communicate with including in writing or over the telephone or texting. It can be called an R message, a respect message. You can either send or receive a one-up message, a one-down message, you don't exist message, or here and now we're equals. That's the best one to strive for. I invite you to study lesson two and lesson one in the Break the Cycle website and enjoy the results. Thanks for watching.